Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Juliana over at Boss Labs. So today we're back in Blender, but this time we'll quickly be going over how to convert your vector logo into a 3D asset. So let's get started. Here we have the default scene in Blender. Anytime we're looking to import something, we can go to File, Import. Under Import, we have a list of file types we can import into Blender. We need to import our vector logo, so if we look at our list, we can see Scalable Vector Graphics, or SVG. That's the file type we're looking for. If for some reason, Scalable Vector Graphics isn't included under Import, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and search SVG. Make sure Import Export Scalable Vector Graphics SVG is checked and you should be good to go. From my experience, I can tell you that most people don't have their logo in an SVG file format readily available. Luckily, using Illustrator, we can convert any Illustrator or EPS file into an SVG. In Adobe Illustrator, open your vector logo, go up to File, Save As. Under Save As Type, find SVG and click Save. Keep the default settings in the SVG options box and click OK. Back in Blender, we can delete the default cube and again go up to File, Import SVG. Find your created SVG file and click Import. If we zoom in, we can see our logo sitting flat on the grid floor. We want to have the logo sitting up on the ground plane, but if we left click to select the logo, we can see that only the main body of the graphic is selected. If we look at our outliner, we can confirm that the logo did indeed come in in three different parts, each eye and the main body part. To fix this, we'll box select all the parts by left clicking and dragging around all the sections and going up to object, join, or using the shortcut control or command J. With the logo selected, we can now press R on the keyboard to rotate, X to constrain it to the X axis, and type in 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. We'll scale it up by using S on the keyboard. I like having the origin aligned to the center of the logo, so we can go up to object, set origin, geometry to origin, and then realign. When we imported the SVG into Blender, it came in as a set of curves, meaning it's not technically geometry. If we select our logo and press tab to go into edit mode, we can see that the vertices can still be edited similar to Illustrator. Even though our logo is currently a curve, we can still add some dimension to it. With our logo selected, go to the properties panel and click object data properties. Under geometry, we'll go to extrude and increase it a little bit and give it a slight bevel. There we have it. Our logo is now a 3D object. We can now add a material, light it, and render it. But earlier we mentioned that our logo is a curve and not technically geometry, which can cause problems later on if we need to texture it or even set it on fire. So to convert it to mesh geometry, with our logo selected, we go up to Object, Convert to Mesh. If we go into Edit Mode, we can now see our mesh and we can now set our logo on fire.
Well, there you have it, converting a vector logo to 3D in Blender. Although we did use Illustrator to create our SVG file, a simple Google search presents alternatives to making that conversion. I did want to go over another example on how a 3D logo can be used in Blender, but simply ran out of time. But I'll end out this video with that animation, where the pulsating logo on the sign that comes into frame was created using that exact workflow we went over. Like always, if you have any questions concerning what we talked about here today, or future Blender tutorials you would like to see, hit us up in the comments below. We'll see you in the next one.